Hi learners. Are you ready to do a review and celebrate all of our learning? We will be doing a decoding, fluency, and spelling review today. Materials. Go ahead and grab a piece of paper and your pencil. Here is today's learning target. I can read a text fluently, smoothly with expression and meaning, rereading and self-correcting when necessary. Fluency. We have a lot to review today, so let's get started. Some words are going to pop up on your screen. They might have a vowel team, or they might be some of our new high frequency words. Do your best to decode them. Here we go. Way. Blow. Stray. Always. Laugh. Now, we are going to review our fluency by reading some sentences. When we are practicing our fluency, when we are practicing our fluency, we want to make sure we are reading at a just right speed. Not too fast and not too slow. If a character is talking and you see quotation marks, you can think about what a character's voice might sound like. Do your best to read the sentences and then we'll do them together. Here it is. Let's read them together now. It is Friday. Time for Pat's party. She gets gifts with bows, but no snow. Grandma brings out her cake on a tray. Grandma always makes a cake for birthdays. On top is a snowman. I'm sure you did your very best reading for this fluency practice. Writing. To start off our writing practice, you will spell some words. I'll read the word and use it in a sentence. After you do your best to write it, we'll check over our work together. The first word is play. Let's play a game. Play. Here is the word play. It starts off with the consonant blend PL. Pull. The AY is the vowel team that makes the A sound at the end of the word play. Now let's get ready to write our next word. The word is show. Can you show me how to sew? Show. Let's look at the word show. It starts off with the digraph SH that says sh, 
and then we use the vowel team OW to say O, since the long vowel sound is coming at the end of the word. Let's get ready to write our last word. The word is maybe. Maybe we can watch a movie after dinner. Maybe. Maybe is a compound word. May be. Maybe. The A-Y says A in the word maybe because the long vowel A sound is coming at the end of the first word in the compound word. And then the high frequency word B. Great job with your writing. What went well for you today? We'll keep working on the things that felt a little tricky together. Now it's time for our final writing challenge. When we write a whole sentence, do your very best to lock the sentence into your brain and you can repeat it to yourself as you are writing each word. Don't forget to start your sentence with a capital letter and to end it with some punctuation. Here is the sentence. The minnow saw a shadow of a stingray. If you're wondering what a minnow is, it is a tiny little fish. I might be a little nervous about that stingray. A much bigger kind of fish. Back to the sentence. You can repeat it with me this time. The minnow saw a shadow of a stingray. You can go ahead. The minnow saw a shadow of a stingray. The minnow saw a shadow of a stingray. Let's check over our sentence together. It's okay if you are still finishing up. The minnow saw a shadow of a stingray. The word minnow has the long vowel O sound at the end of the word. That's why we need the OW vowel team. You'll see that same vowel team at the end of the word shadow. The A-Y team says A at the end of the word stingray. Stingray is also a compound word. How did you do? Did you include each word of my sentence in your sentence? Check for a capital letter and a punctuation mark. Nice job doing your very best writing. In reflection. Wow, what a lesson! Today you reviewed all of our new learning from this cycle, like the OW vowel team and the AY vowel team, and we practice working with some of our new high frequency words. What do you want to keep working on from this cycle? You did some amazing work during these last few lessons. 
kiss your brain. And I'll see you here again soon when we do some more learning, reading, and writing together.